Hello and welcome to another episode where we answer your questions about the Catholic faith here on Reasonably Catholic. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below this video. For today, let's see what question we have. Is God a male or a female? I used to wonder this myself. Okay then, I guess even God is not spared from the superiority battles of the sexes. Let's see how best we can explain this. For centuries, we have seen paintings and pictures of the Divine God and every single time, it turns out to be that God was depicted as a male. Does that mean God is a male? Since it's clear from all these paintings that it is taught to everyone from the centuries that God is a male. First of all, while answering this, I want to tell you at the start that this isn't a question about which gender is superior. The Bible teaches us and the church emphasizes it too, that both men and women are made in the image and likeness of God. In Genesis 1.27 it says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Having said that, the church also teaches that God has no gender, since God is above all creation and hence is above all genders. He doesn't need a gender for his existence. In the CCC para 239, she teaches, we ought therefore to recall that God transcends the human distinction between the sexes. He is neither man nor woman. He is God. As we see in the Old Testament that God was seen as a protector of Israel. He was like a man leading his tribe and nation. Most of the references made to God were using the masculine form of the word, which made it sound as if God was a male. But there are times when a woman's or a mother's image is used to describe something about God. For example, in Isaiah 49.15, it says, Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. Or like in Isaiah 66.13, God is noted as saying, as one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. Hence, even though God does not have a gender, we understand his relationship with us as a father. This is only to say that some aspects of maleness better express some aspects of God's relationship to us than femaleness. However, the biggest reason how it was revealed to us that God is like a father to us is through the God-man Jesus. He is the Son of God who came to earth to become a human. He first of all knew and hence revealed it to us that God is a father to us. In Matthew 11:27, Jesus says, all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Even the CCC explains this. Jesus revealed that God is Father in an unheard of sense. He is Father not only in being Creator, He is eternally Father in relation to His only Son, who is eternally son only in relation to his father. Above any gender, God is still related to us as a father. And it's the spirit of sonship that he gives us helps us cry out, Abba, Father. That's all we have for today. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section below this video. Until the next episode of Reasonably Catholic, stay blessed.